Scorpio, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a second half of February 2021 reading for you. No particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future and potential outcome. We'll clarify and get a message out there. It's not going to resonate for every single Scorpion, so do check out your replacements, your Moon, Rising, Venus, any stellium you have in your chart. Um, once again, thank you for the like, share, subscribe, comments, everything continues the growth, it's much appreciated. Um, and if you want to delve into your own situation deeper, check out the description box for details of private readings. Okay. Scorpio. Two more. Queen of Swords. Okay. Standing your ground. You're not mincing your words in the next couple of weeks, um, Scorpio. You're leaving behind people that no longer serve you. Maybe even looking at people different as well. Let's see, something you're aware of. Something you're not aware of. Recent past. Immediate future. And potential outcome. Okay, interesting. Death, the Eight of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Okay, this is you, Scorpio, energy. You've walked away from a King of Cups energy because of past disappointments. Um, I kind of feel like they, you were always emotionally possibly struggling with them. Either they would not forthcoming with their emotions or vice versa. Um, but it's... It was a burden that you'd no longer carry in. So, Queen of Swords. You've cut it out. You've walked away from the situation. Um, you needed to transform the situation. You needed to step into your power. And that's exactly what you've done. What you're aware of is the Nine of Wands. And I kind of feel like it's here to say that you've dropped that. You've dropped that wand. You've let that go. Um, I'll skip ahead because the recent past is the Ten of Wands. You know, you've felt all the burden. I mean, I know in this deck, this is normally... I, I don't mind to see the Ten of Wands because they're coming down the hill. Um, and, you know, the end of the struggles is over. But I'm kind of seeing this as... This person, whatever this was, was a load, a load too much. So the Nine of Wands is indicating that you've got rid of that Tenth Wand. What you're not aware of is the Seven of Pentacles. So I almost feel like there's a period to nurture yourself here. Because the immediate future is the Ace of Cups. This is new love coming in, but it's also self-love as well. And I kind of feel like that, that cup of water is, you know, providing the, the necessary nutrients for the sun to shine and really make this, um, this grow. So I kind of feel like there's maybe a little bit of impatience in regards in your subconscious that you're not seeing results for either love or whether this is material based. I kind of feel like this is going to all change. So there's no love coming in. And the outcome is the King of Wands. So you've walked away from some sort of King of Cups um, uh, energy. But there's somebody new coming in. Somebody that's going to be extremely, you're going to be extremely attracted to. Uh, the King of Wands is somebody that's confident, commanding. Um, a go-getter knows what he wants. And again, don't be caught up in genders. We all have masculine and feminine energies. I'm just reading the cards. Um, but this is somebody that's very passionate and there's going to be a lot of attraction between you. And it all starts because you chose yourself. You let, you let go of a wand that was no longer suiting you. Uh, and that's it's like, how do you... You need to to create space. You have to get rid of things before the new comes in. That's kind of feel like you've done here. It doesn't have to be particularly a person. It could be just emotions. You know, carrying too many burdens on you on your back, too many emotions that were getting you nowhere. So you've let that go, and that leaves space now for that self-love and that, you know, the new to come in. The 
came off. Wow. Okay, wow. <laughs> So that eight of cups, you're going in search of that sun, that happiness, bottom of the deck is the sun. So the sun is going to shine on all the past hurts. Um, you know, this could have been emotions that you've reached reached a level. You may have gone through some sort of um, third party situation with somebody because it's next to the nicer ones. Uh, somebody's energy is a bit erratic, in and out type of thing. Um, I'm, I'm, the Queen of Swords is clarified by the Hierophant here. You could have cut away from a Taurus in the mundane. However, I kind of feel like this is you leveling up in your kind of spiritual journey as well. This is you taking the higher ground. What you're aware of is the Nine of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. You somebody that's... I'm kind of seeing protecting your assets here. Um, so take that as you will. There's a need to protect your assets or you're in defensive mode in regards to your assets. So you could be just like protective of your family. You know, the nine of nine of wands can be protecting your family with the ten of pentacles being the family sort of card as well. Um, but I kind of feel like this is protecting your assets. This seven of pentacles, um, this kind of growth that may have been just not coming just yet is going to speed up. This is what you're not aware of, the chariot. This is um, fast, successive growth. So whatever you're doing, whatever this sort of, anything that you're doing for your work, your pentacles is going to really take off soon. Um, the recent past is the Ten of Wands with the Ten of Swords. So there's been like a, an ending, a serious like I am done ending. What's coming in is the Ace of Cups with the Knight of Swords. You've got new love coming in extremely quickly. I kind of feel like it's going to hit you by the, like a bolt, something that's going to be the chemistry is going to be out of the charts because the King of Wands is clarified by the King of Wands. So everything I said, passion, somebody confident, somebody that takes the lead. Um, there's going to be some serious physical attraction between you and this person. And again, don't get caught up in genders. Scorpio, you've, you chose to drop that wand uh, and ready for something new and it's coming in, it's coming in fast. <laughs> okay you could be dealing with or having your chart Taurus, Cancer, Leo could be dealing with a fellow Scorpio Cancer Pisces but we've got wands, we've got swords, we've got cups and we've got pentacles so everybody's here, but those are your standouts okay, things are going to turn around quickly um, Kind of feel like, yeah, like I say, you've, you're taking, taking the higher ground in some form, um, protecting your assets, and things are going to turn around pretty quickly in regards to um, love, I feel. I feel the King of Wands is a person, and um, the chemistry is going to be pretty hot. Okay, let me know if it resonates, and um, thank you for following the channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye.